Welcome everyone back to the Emerald Diamonds, the home of the Marauders. They welcome the Whalers to town. Game number 104 here, Cheese League Baseball. Lenny Downhill on the mound today for the Whalers. Oh, and Brock Farley gets to start number for the And here we go, first pitch of the game to Ready A is a strike. Oh, that's inside. Fouled away. One two pitch. And Ready A's in there with the single to lead off the game. Now batting. The center fielder. Rick steps in. Number 11. Center fielder here for the Whalers. Pops that one up. Is that gonna get no parks there for the way? Now batting, the designated hitter, number 20. Now, 226, two homers, six RBIs for Lane, DHing today. That one's a base hit up the middle. And runners going to third. Very bold move here, and he gets there. Good base running. Good hustle. Number 69. Kate Durham now steps in, having a good year. The Whalers' first baseman. 27, three homers, 10 RBIs. Runners in the corners and a chance to really make an impact, and boy, that will do it. Home run, Kate Durham. 386 foot Jack, his fourth homer, 13 RBI of the season. Whalers take the 3 0 lead. Now batting the second base in English. Really, really having a rough season. Hitting below the Mendoza line. Two homers, only two RBIs. The 2 1 pitch from Farley. That's a base hit through the right side. So Farley's looking, looking a little rough, looking a little tense so far. Now batting the left fielder, number six. That brings in Serm White. See, Farley's ERA, 313, of course, is a little bit lower than that for giving up the homer, but he's 3-2 and two in the season with a little steady arm out of the Marauders rotation. That's a double play to end the inning. Whalers strike first, though. They get three runs on a big three-run homer. Kate Durham. Lila Quinto leads it off now. Bottom half of the frame for the Marauders. Lenny Downhill on the mound today for the Whalers. He's one and two in the season, despite having an exceptional 2.49 ERA. And gets her. Quinto down on strikes. And that brings up Raina McLongthrow. And she nubs that one. A swinging bunt right back to Downhill for the second out. I was going to say, Raina McLongthrow is the Best hitter, well, despite the swinging butt there, she still is the best hitter in Cheese Lake Baseball. So. <laughs> Joaquin Buck hits that one. Go to Allen, who's playing third base today for the Whalers. Oh, the final out, bottom part of the order now to up for the Whalers. That's Rago. It's that one. Ooh, Tater Pepperonis. The snag. And the first out. Now back, the right and Aiden Vargas steps two. in. There's talk of Rago retiring at the end of the season. So that'll be a hole that the Whalers will have to fill. Of course, he's back backup catcher. Foul. One and two now, Vargas. Grounds that one to Quinto. Second out. Now back. The third baseman, number four. Caden Allen. Utility player here for the Whalers. Playing third base. Quickly 0-2. Popped up. Pepperonis comes in. And there's out number three, so maybe a bounce back inning there for Farley. The Whalers go down in order. Part of the order up now for the Marauders. Hooker Gentry, 381, six homers, and 16 RBIs. 
It's another one of these dangerous brothers hitters. It's that one's a base hit up the middle. Realize this is a real uh, between the Marauders and the Whalers. This is a real like Ahab situation happening right now. It's like Moby Dick on the baseball diamond. Xerox Liu steps in, right fielder for the Marauders. 313, two homers, 10 on the guys. Good speed and pace pass here for the Marauders as well. One two pitch popped up. Puts it away for the first half. Stetson Fuller. Another player hitting below the 200 mark. There's a 1 2 pitch now from downhill. Okay. Checks on the line. Now the 1 2 pitch. Grooves one high, two and two, and now the full count. Good eye. So a pair of runners on now for Wilder Plows. Pops that one up. Vargas is there. Vargas has a good arm, so you don't want to test it. Runners stay put. That brings up Julian Park. Number 18. Number eight hitter. Off the plate. Here for the Marauders. Stay right. That's down. That one's fouled away. The 2 2 now. To Park. Nubs that one to Ready A. For the final now. Still 3 nothing as we go to the top of the third. The top of the order to the Whalers. Now that one bear the shortstop. Whalers bullpen. Ready A grounds to Pepperonis for the first out. It's a route Briggs, who's juiced. See Briggs get a hold of one. Among the league leaders in home runs. Three one. And walks him. Cole Lane now steps in. Briggs runs quite well there at first base. He goes. Steals a bag. And that one's hit well. And Fuller puts it away. Briggs goes to third, though. It's now two outs, runner on third base. That brings up Kate Durham. Number big three run Jack. His last time up. Whew, that might have been a pitch to hit. <laughs> Just kind of hung up there. And one and two now to Durham. Foul the way. Cue ball down the third base line. Longford makes the easy play. Final out. Pepperonis, Quinto, and McFlong throw up now for number 44. The Marauders. It's like tater pepperonis. That one's grounded. Tough play for Allen. And pepperonis digs it out. An infield hit. Runs pretty well down there at first base, too. Let's see if they can make something happen here. And Quinto, base hit in the right field. So a pair of runners on now for Randy McLong throw. Current batting Number champ. 46. And she hits one into left field, so everyone is safe. Bases are loaded. Joaquin no Buck steps up. Number 47. No outs here. Bottom of the third. Real 
big opportunity to put a dent in this Whalers lead. The 2-2 now to Buck. And the full count. Downhill delivers. Let's hit. Oh, that's off the wall. Kind of gets away from White there. And it's kind of an odd hit. We weren't really sure if White was going to make the play or not. So bases remain loaded. Only one run comes home. That pretty Tucker Gentry hits one through the right side. One run comes home. Here comes the second run, and it's a tie ball game. Runners on first and second now. Xerox Liu steps in. No outs. We're all knotted up at three. See these Whalers fans in the crowd. Really letting downhill have it. Got him. First out of the inning. Brings up Stetson Fuller. English, and who's going to be there to cover first? Oh my gosh. Downhill gets over there. That was almost a baseball fundamentals blunder. But they get the second out now. Wilder Plow steps in. Runners on second and third. And boy, does he just go down. One, two, three. A pair of runners stranded. But the Marauders tied up at three. They go to the top of the fourth. The second baseman. Number one. English leads it off. Five, six, and seven do up. And English is one for one today. Pops that one up. It's a high pop up. Now that the left hits it away. Number six. Sir White steps up now. Quickly 0 and 2. Farley looks like he's settling in. Away. One two pitch. And now the 2 2 to White. Foul ball. Again. Ball inside. And the full count. Nick Longthrope snares it. Across the diamond. For the second out. Now the catcher. Number 28. Lennox Rago steps in. And the big hook there. 0 oh 2. Got him. Three pitches, and Rago's down on strikes. Still tied up at three. Eight, nine, and one. Park Pepperoni's and Quinto. Well for the Marauders. Number 18. Nope, outside. Nope, nope. 2-0 now. Off the plate. And now the 3-0 to Julian Park. Brings up Tater Pepperoni. He's one for one today with a single. Number 44. Pepperoni's 255, two homers, eight RPIs. So I'd like to see him hitting a little bit better, but that's where it stands. One, two pitch. Got him swinging through it. Pepperoni's down on strikes. That brings up top of the order, Lila Quinto. One for two today. Steve Wright. Strike from downhill. That's high. Nope, high. 62 pitches here for downhill in the bottom of the fourth. The 2 2 to Quinto. And that should be two. English to Redier to Durham for the 4 6 3 double play. Beautiful skies here at Emerald Diamond. It's a twilight game. The right fielder. Number two. Aiden Vargas. Lead off here in the top of the fifth. That's inside. Not a lot of movement on Farley's stats. In the first inning. Steve was a big one for him. It's the 2 2 pitch to Vargas. Popped up. 
we have to see the way first out. Now batting the third baseman, number five. Looks like Caden Allen. Farley approaching 50, or, uh, 60 pitches now. Let's hit the pepperonis for the second out. Brings up Reddy A in the top of the order. It's one for two today. And yeah, Farley is really looking locked in now. Really, really settled down. The 2 2. Got him. Ready a down on strikes. Good pitching there from Farley. He's really bounced back from that big first inning. Randy McLong threw up steps in now. One for two today. Downhill. Smith Lenny Downhill. He's still looking pretty good, too. One two pitch. And hi, two and two. And got her. Strike out Randy McLong for That's something to be proud of that one. Brings up Joaquin Buck. Steve Wright. Off the plate. That one's fouled away. The one two pitch. Popped up. I think that's going to get off the screen or in the crowd. Yes, it does. Reset. And that one's also fouled. Allen's there to snag that one at third for the second out of the inning. Tucker Gentry's having a good day. Two for two with two singles. Three and zero to Gentry, and he's walked. Xerox Lee Yu steps in over the two, and I was just going to say I think that may have been Lenny Downhill's last hitter. Benitez comes in out of the Whalers bullpen. The one two to Lee Yu. Foul. Right up on the plate. Set. And Durham. He's whew, runs back to touch first for the final out. Two, three, and four now do up for the Whalers here at the top of the sixth. Ralph Briggs steps in. Let's see Briggs juiced his power numbers just off the charts. Steve Wright. 24 games, of course, in the season. Seven, eight home runs. Looks like it might be in the tops of the Those grounds have been picked over the first out. Who knows what next season will be. And swinging through that is Cole Lane. And right at Pepperoni's for out number two. The first baseman. Number 69. So Kate Durham. Ball inside. A long home run is first time up. No pass high. Hits that one. We're right at Gentry. Or the final out. Still tied up at three as we go to the bottom part of the sixth. Six, seven, and eight. Two up for the Marauders. Stetson Fuller leads it off here. Oh, for one today. Benitez still on the mound. He's is looking juice too. That one's popped up to Rago. For the first half. Wilder Plow steps in. Pitch there from Benitez. Try to give him a chase. Two and one. Popped up. Vargas tracks it down. Puts it away for the second out. Julian Park steps in. 0 for 1 today with a walk. And Benitez. 
thrown around Park for some reason. There's strike working away, away, away. Now in. 3-1. And again, away. What they're throwing around Julian Park for. Pitch to Pepperonis. He's one for two today with the single. I don't know. I understand the strategy there, but we may never know. Or it could be just Benitez accuracy has dropped quite a bit. It's probably what it is. Here's the 3-1 to Pepperonis. And Benitez flashing in the red now. Walks Pepperoni, so that would be Benitez's last hitter for sure. And Lila Quinto steps in top of the order. Ian Peters comes in out of the Whaler's pen. Two outs, runners on first and second. Bottom of the sixth here for Lila Quinto. It's fouled away, the one two now. And Peters delivers. Ooh, bobbles it. English fields, fires. Just get her by a half step. Five, six, and seven now do up for the Whalers here at the top now of the seventh. The We're still tied at three. Oh, and English steps in one for two today. So Whalers looking to maybe add a little extra run here. away. Should mention the Whalers are 8 and 12 on the season. As that one's popped up with pepperonis. Marauders are 12 and 8. Uh, yeah. so Whalers sit in the basement on the Pepper Jack Marauders are tied for first with the Olympians. And we have Brennan Dickerson comes in. Steve Wright. Obviously not in a save opportunity here. And Sir White steps up to the plate. One, two, and now the two and two pitch. And it got White swinging through it. Comes up Rago. Surprised that they're not putting in a pinch hitter here for Rago. Swings through that one. And again. And try to get him to chase. The one two pitch. And again. The two two. Rounds to Quinto for the final out. Each team will have three games to play after this. Of course, this is the 21st game. We play 24 games. And isn't this the best person you want up? Brandon McLong throw. And a chance to win it. 1-1 pitch. Swing through it. 1-2. The 2-2 two -two to McLaughlin. Trying to get a chase. It's hit, but Vargas is there. He's going to go for the first out. Rocky Buck steps in now. One for three today. There's base hit up the middle, so Marauders have a base runner. Tucker Gentry steps in, now two for two today, two singles. 14. Madden Powerslag comes in, lefty Steve on lefty I. matchup. Out of the Whalers' bullpen. That's hard. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Foul away. Two, two. Grounded to Ready A, this should be two to English. Durham for the inning ending double play. We've got bonus baseball here, folks. Eight, nine, and one do up for the Whalers here at the top of the eighth. Now the right fielder, number now batting, number eight. And we're gonna have a pinch hitter here. Weeks steps in. Believe it or not, this is Weeks' first at bat of the season and his first hit of the season. Holy cow, nothing like game number 21 of a 24 game season to get first at bat. Jose Sicily steps in. Pinch hitter here. And oh, that's off McLongthorpe's glove. 
Runners stay put. So first and second now. And top of the order here, Ready A steps in for the Whalers. Two balls now. And there's a strike from Dickerson. 2-1. Way, 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 way inside. 3-1 and one now, Ready A. Base hit. Up the middle. You're sending the runner. Throw comes into second. And it's a 4-3 ball game. The Whalers take the lead. That brings in Ralph Briggs and grab a pitching change. Von Crum comes in. Relief of Dickerson. No outs. Runners on first and second. And the power hitting Ralph Briggs up. Ooh, that one gets away. And parked behind the plate. The runners advance to second and third. And there's a strike. Ooh, nasty, nasty slider there. From Von Crum. Once popped up, Pepperonis goes out. Puts it away. Nobody's going to advance. One out now, second and third. Brings up Cole Lane. Strike, high strike, a little too high, maybe. The one-two pitch. And the two-two, now to Lane. Ball inside. Good eye. Full count. Grounded to Pepperonis. Infield was playing in. So now two outs. Kate Durham steps in, he's one for three with a homer already today. Two no, and they are just going to walk him. They don't want to pitch to Kate Durham. They walk the bases loaded. They're going to opt to pitch to uh, Owen English instead. He's one for three today. He's juiced as well, but he's looking tense. He hit 177. Grounded to Quinto. Tosses the Von Crum for the final out. But the Whalers get one run here. Let's see if they can put it away. Five, six, and seven do up for the Marauders here in the bottom of the eight. In the game, number 21. All right, a lot, a lot of defensive changes there. McIntosh at third, white and right, weeks and left. It's fouled down the right field line. And Liu strikes out. Stetson Fuller steps in now. 0 for 2 today with a walk. Two O, and now the 3 0 to Fuller. The power slides. Accuracy goes down. So, base runner here for the Marauders. Brings up Wilder Klaus. Base runner, very good speed. Runner goes. And safe. Tying run on second now. And there's strike two. 0 oh and 2 to Plows. Hit to English for the second out. Runner advances to third. Base hit ties the ball game. And brings up Julian Park. Ooh, they plunk him. Don't rub it. So Park's on first. That brings up Tater Pepperonis, and uh, we're going to have pitching change here. Wendelin Bangett comes in. Now the Whalers pen. One and one. And now the one two to Pepperonis. That's a base hit through the left side. Scores that run, and it's a tie ball game. Tater Pepperonis with the big hit. Lila Quinto steps in, one for four. That's the top of the order now. Runners on first and second. Fouls away. 
The 2-1. Nope. And now the 3-1 pitch. Quinto hits that one very high. Does that have the distance? It does not. Just a very long, very loud out. The Marauders tie it up, though. We go to the top of the ninth. Sir White leads it off for the Whalers. Von Crum still in pitching for the Marauders. Folks, I have my notes out. I had everything I was going to write down. End of the game. And now I'm going to flick my pencil. <laughs> the bunt. But no chance. Just first out here. Odell's coming in now out of the uh, Marauders' pen. In this case, Lennox Rago. I do like the rule here in uh, Super Mega Baseball 3 that a bullpen pitcher has to pitch to at least three batters. I absolutely appreciate that rule. It's fouled away again. The 1 2 to Rago. Got him. Now batting the left fielder. Brings in Weeks. Got his first hit of the season. His last at bat. Two zero pitch. Grounded to McLaughlin for final out of the inning. So let's see if the Marauders can put this one away now here in the bottom of the ninth. McLaughlin will lead it off, followed by Buck and Gentry. It's two three and four. And McLaughlin is one for four today. And she does in dramatic fashion into the harbor. An absolute tank to end the game. 473 foot shot. Fourth homer, 11th RBI of the season. And just like that, the Marauders win. What a dramatic win. That's why Miranda McLongthrope is the current batting champ. She is just an absolute beast. 4 7 and 0 oh for the Whalers, 5 9 and 0 oh for the Marauders. You know, really thought this game was going to be different. It <laughs> started off with a big three run first inning, three run dinger for Durham. And the Marauders came back and like call and response there for the end. Let's take a look at the uh, offense. Good game here for Reddy A, two for four. Smattering of hits throughout the uh, rest of the Whalers lineup. Briggs 0 for three though. Did have a walk. A lot of overs actually. Kind of that middle, middle back end of that lineup. White, Rago, Vargas, Allen. A lot of overs down there. On the Marauder side, we have big games there for McLaughlin, but obviously the game winning homer. Joaquin Buck, two for four. Then a, then a strikeout, that's good. Uh, Julian Park didn't have a strikeout either. That's pretty fascinating. That's who I was looking for. Gentry, two for three. Pepperonis, two for three. So, get big hits from people. Pepper, you know, Pepperonis, some of these folks were struggling for the middle or uh, the beginning of the season. So it's good to see that uh, they're starting to hit a little bit. It's good stuff. Six walks, six strikeouts for the Marauders. For the walks, two, only two walks on the Whaler side for strikeouts. So that's more like it. You know, that's another comfort behind wind, isn't it? I think the game number 103. Odell gets the win. Actually, his third win of the season out of the bullpen. Bang it, gets the loss. Second loss of the season. Lots of pitchers used on the Whaler side, of course. Downhill and Farley, though. Let's not uh, discredit them. Downhill and Farley pitched admirably, both of them. Which really came down to offense. <laughs> Top three players of the game. Kate Durham, one for three homer, three RBIs in the run. Brandon McClunker, of course. Game-winning home run, the RBI with two runs, and Tucker Gentry, two for three, with two RBIs as well today. So with that win, 
the Marauders improve to 13 and 8. The Whalers drop to 8 and 13. So both teams will have three more games to play to end out the season. The Whalers, at this point, unfortunately, I can say Whalers fans, no chance for them to uh, come back and win the division. That'll mean the Marauders will probably have a half game lead uh, on the. Uh, Olympians, but we'll see what the Olympians schedule looks like coming up. In the meantime, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Follow us here. Geek Cheese on YouTube for the Cheese League Baseball. Do follow us on Twitter at Geek underscore Cheese. That is your home for Cheese League Baseball news and updates. And we are coming down to the end of the season, folks, and it'll be playoff time very soon. That means a live broadcast. So definitely want to follow us on Twitter for that. Game 104 in the books. That's it for me today, folks. Have a good one. Marauders win. Take care. Bye.